it's more than just a bit crazy out there. So let's take a look at a security device. Don't go away. Hello everyone and welcome to Fat Guy Productions. I am Paul coming to you as always from beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada. And today we're going to be taking a look at a brand new security camera. This is a camera by a company called Solium. Let's take a look. So today we're going to be looking at the Solium S600 Solar Security Camera. This is something I've never seen before. I don't know this manufacturer and I don't know this camera. So first time you, first time me. So you know my little thing I have about packaging and this is packaged really, really well. But I'm not a big fan of the graphics on this. It feels very clinical, so to speak. It just doesn't really motivate me. Um, you know, there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. It's just, you know, not very exciting, you know? It's kind of like a, a zip code in Kansas. Anyhow, but aside from that, it is packaged really well, and I always think that that is an indicator of how the company feels about its product and its customers. Inside we have the standard rigmarole. We've got a, a little manual here, all the information you're going to need, a bunch of little additional inserts that we can peruse and, and look at. But yeah, we've got all the standard stuff. So, of course we have the solar panel. It is a nice, heavy, solid, real solar panel, so it's feeling pretty good. And let's face it, that's one of the main selling points of this camera. Over here on this insert, we've got uh, a little tool bag with all our uh, accoutrements. And, uh, of course, we've got this little connection cord here. I assume that's to connect the uh, solar panel to the camera. And then we have the camera itself. It is robust that's for sure this is no joke guys so this is not cheaply made it is very very solid hefty uh, it's got built-in lights it's got the camera it's got the antennas it's pretty much good to go when you're talking about security systems like the s600 here the big thing is the wireless connectivity and the solar power. You know, it's one thing to have a camera, but it's another to have to run miles of cable and cords and power and all this other stuff. Well, we don't need to worry about any of that with this camera. Now I have used security cameras with solar panels before and I have to say this is one of the more robust sturdy solar panels I've seen. This thing is legit. The manual's fairly complete, looks pretty easy to understand, no big problem there. Sometimes with products like this you worry about the the understandability of these manuals, but it doesn't seem to be an issue here. All in all, at first blush, this thing is looking really solid. I can't wait to get it installed and see how it functions. All right, so over here at my son's house, this is my son, Michael. Michael, say hello. Hello. And we're going to put this Solium camera on his house, and he's going to do all the work today. I get to stand by and just enjoy watching him struggle. So <laughs> let's go ahead and put this on the house and see how it goes.
So I am letting my son Mike go ahead and put this up pretty much by himself. Uh, it's funny because he's not a manual reader uh, like I am. Um, he got that from his mother. But uh, we'll see how he does with this thing. It shouldn't be that tough. I want to move that back a little bit. What do you mean back? This kid is six foot four inches, so it's a, a good thing because he doesn't have a decent ladder. He's got this step stool, which, by the way, he stole from me. Uh, and he's making it work because he's so tall. But for me, this would not be an option. I'd, I'd need something else here. Anyhow, the idea is we're going to put it on this corner of the house. This gives him a look across the front of his house in both directions and... It doesn't double up where he has the ring doorbell, so this will be a nice place for it to go. Now we both wish that it had some sort of easy to mount mounting plate where you could screw it onto the house and then you put the camera on the mounting plate, but this doesn't have that. It's just got a couple holes in the base of the camera and you're going to have to run the screws right through it. The problem there is the bottom one is behind the camera and it's really difficult to put in. We'll make it work, but hey, I'm always looking for something negative to say, so that's going to be the negative thing. So you'll have to decide for yourself if this is a negative or a positive. The camera is no joke. It is not subtle at all. So people are going to know it's there that in and of itself could ward off a robbery but it's kind of out there and in your face if you don't like that maybe this isn't the camera for you but you have to think it adds an extra layer of defense on your home I really do wish in the kit it came with a little extension cord and optional mounting bracket for the solar panel because in this application it really doesn't fit very well. It would have been nice to put this in a different place even if it was nearby just so we have a few more options. Of course you can move the solar panel fairly easily by getting your own cord and a little mounting bracket. It's not that big of a deal. I'm just saying it would have been nice to have that option in the box. I don't know how you turn it on. So the solar panel just easily attaches to the top of the camera system and then one cord runs between the solar panel and the camera and you're in business. Okay, so overall the installation was actually pretty easy. It's four screws, you connect the solar panel and you flip on the power switch and that's all there was to it. Um, we did have an issue with the bottom screws are difficult to get in because the camera is actually in front of the screw, so that made that difficult. And we're, we really wish that the solar panel, it can tilt this way, but it can't tilt this way. So it would be nice if it could tilt both directions because as you see, we really only have one option on how the solar panel sits here. Also, because it's attached to the camera, we can't put it in an optimal place for the sun. It has to be wherever the camera is. So we would like to be able to see the solar panel be able to be moved to a different location if that was our choice. We don't have that option, but overall it went in pretty easily and you see it's re ready to pair. So we're just gonna put the app in the phone and uh, he's gonna get connected to it and we'll see how that goes.
that clear space. What are you doing? I'm filming you. The camera is now ready to begin pairing. Yeah, yeah. So let's take a look at the app, shall we? Now, you know we're HomeKit people, and this is not a HomeKit compatible system. So it's for us, it's standalone, and we'll have to use the app, which really isn't that big of a deal. You know how it goes. You have to start and make an account got to give it your username and your password and do all of that stuff and get registered before you get connected to your new camera. Okay, so now we're ready to go ahead and start connecting everything to our security camera. We'll give the device a name. And we'll tell the system where the camera is located. Enter the Wi-Fi password. Please do not connect with the 5G. Of course, we'll need to connect the camera to our Wi-Fi system. To do that, we just enter the SSID and the password. We really didn't know what the deal was with this annoying tone that the system is putting out there. We thought, wow, that is super bothersome, but come to find out, it's actually an audio way that the system can connect itself to each other. So that's what it's doing there. I personally thought it was annoying and ear piercing, but hey, it is what it is. All right, the camera and the app have kind of done all their stuff, and lo and behold, there you have our very first image from our Solium S600. And I have to say, it is clear and perfect and bright. Very, very nice. Very happy. And here you see, just by tapping your little dial here on the lower part of the screen, you can point the camera anywhere you want, which is a really nice feature. So seriously, all in all, this was like a 30 minute process to put this thing up, get it connected and have it up and running. And frankly, I'm very, very impressed. The thing is solid, it works great, great picture, easy to do, very, very good. Very pleased. Okay, mute the camera. And there you have it. We've got the camera up, running, and under our control. Now we can just aim it where we like to keep it, and if we ever want to move it, it's a simple matter to use the app to point the camera wherever you want. Well, there you have it, the Solium S600, and in my estimation, it is a very nice, solid, well-done security camera. Now, yes, I picked on a couple little things like the way the uh, solar panel attached to the camera, um, but that's an easy thing. You know, you can get a separate little bracket and an extension cord. You can put the solar panel anywhere you want. This is just the easy, convenient, provided way to attach the solar panel to the camera. Uh, I complained a little bit about putting the one screw in. But you know, 
you kind of, when you're doing a review, you want to find something to crab about, and that was the best I could come up with. Overall, this thing is rock solid and does a great job, and you have to love the ability to point the camera wherever you need it to be whenever you want to. All right, that's going to be it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up, click subscribe, click the notification bell, and you'll be notified anytime I release a new video. Okay, I'm going to get out of here. Until next time, this is Paul from Fat Guy Productions saying be good.